I've covered a few stories on people who appeared on some pretty memorable albums or album covers and the stories behind the shoots and where those subjects are at today. One of my subscribers suggested doing the story on the scantily clad woman on the front cover of the Deftones sophomore record Around the Fur. And here we are today. So let's find out the story behind the album cover and who the woman is and what she's up to today. Released in 1997 by the alternative metal act The Deftones, their record Around the Fur would be put out on Madonna's label Maverick Records. Another act I talked about who signed to Maverick was Candlebox. I've done a whole video on their career, the link is down below. Around the Fur would produce two hits in My Own Summer, Shove It, and Be Quiet and Drive, Far Away. The album would go platinum nearly 14 years after its release. Revolver Magazine wrote a pretty great piece on the story of the album cover, and the website Pausta interviewed the photographer and model who appeared in the photo. The cover would be shot by photographer Rick Kosick, whose credits included MTV's Jackass and Wild Boys. Both the Deftones vocalist Chino Marino and guitarist Steven Carpenter were fans of the photographer. Kosick would tell Revolver how he got the gig. I know Chino was really into skateboarding at the time, and Steve has always been into BMX. At the time, I was doing a lot of rock shots too. They thought I was the right guy for the job, so everything fell into place. Kosick would fly up to Seattle to shoot the band in the studio, but he was also invited to a party with the band and some groupies. Kosick would tell Revolver, they were having this after hours party with all these chicks hanging out in the jacuzzi, he explains. I just happened to take a photo of a girl at like four o'clock in the morning. I don't even know who she is. She was just a groupie, I think. I just saw her and was like, damn, I gotta photograph this. Kosick would only take one shot of the woman with a fisheye lens, and it's his feet you see on the album cover next to her. Kosick would claim the woman on the cover wasn't happy with the photographer, with him recalling to Revolver. She made some comment about being too close to her boobs, so I took the photo, walked away, and never spoke to her again. I know they found her and got her to sign a release, though. For his work, Kosick would get a gold record from the band. As for the woman, her name is Lisa Hughes. She would give her first interview since appearing on the album cover in 2017. During the interview, she would claim to be really proud of being on the album cover, telling Palsta a little about herself saying, and I quote, I'm a kick-ass little woman from Western Washington. I'm in my 40s and feel amazing. I have a kick-ass job in the medical field. I love music and going to as many shows as possible. I love every kind of music you can think of, and yes, of course I love the Deftones. My favorite Deftone albums are ATF, White Pony, and Adrenaline. I think they're all very unique and have their own sound, nothing like other bands. I find a lot of their music sexy. I love snowboarding, hiking, biking, and camping. I just want to have as much fun as possible while I'm on this planet. She would recall how she first heard about the band wanting to use her photo, recalling, well, funny thing, I didn't have a computer at the time and I received a call from Stephen Carpenter asking if I would allow them to use the photo for the cover. I wanted to see it first, but had a hard time getting a copy. So I had Maverick Records fax it to me. It was a little dark and hard to see, but I said, yes, for sure use it. I didn't have doubts, I was excited. There would be rumors that she was upset that the photographer was invading her space by taking the top down photo, but she brushed these assertions off in the same interview. Since appearing on the album cover, Hughes would stay in touch with the Deftones, but in more recent years, lost touch with them. 